David Carr loved this room. A room full of people making stuff, experimenting, screwing up, and experimenting some more. As the media columnist for the New York Times, that's exactly what David was encouraging. Every week with his columns, he was helping the world see and confront and embrace the digital revolution. And when he died in February, near his desk in the Times newsroom, I felt like we had all been suddenly blinded, like we could not see it anymore. We needed him as a guide. Uh, David is survived by his loves of his life, his wife Jill, his daughters Aaron, Maddie, and Megan. And David was my friend, teacher, and mentor. So lately I've been rereading his old stories, something I recommend all of you do, including one from 2005 about this award show. Uh, I can't do his voice, nobody could do his voice. Uh, so I'll just read, it said, the web, he wrote, has become a sandbox where anarchy and commerce play. Still very true today, 10 years later. David was webby before the web or these webbies were around. He was a natural born connector of people and ideas. He was incredibly generous with his time, always just an email away, and he was made for Twitter. His columns, his blog posts were long, but they wasted no words. He wrote bluntly and adventurously, and always fairly. David called out BS when he saw it, sometimes in some of you, knowing his subjects would begrudgingly respect him for it. He appreciated history, and he treasured journalism's core values. But he was most excited by what's coming next. When we would talk about the next story, his eyes would light up. I could tell he really liked a story when he would lean into me and he would say, that's tangy. It's hard to even say it, but tangy. Or even better, I knew, I knew it was a really good story when he would say, spicy. Spicy. So tonight, I hope he can hear my five words. David, thank you for the spice. Y'all got to make stuff. Got to make stuff. You can't sit there and talk about what you do once. Got to make videos like this one. Got to learn HTML5. Got to learn how to edit an audio file. Make a story, write a magazine feature. The tools are all in your hands. So I don't care where you've been or who you talk to or what grade you got in Journalism 101. I want you to show me something that you made that is super cool. That's how it's going to go.